as we all know, there's been this Chick-fil-A thing going on, and I've already done a video addressing that. But wait, there is more. That's right, I'm not done bitching about this subject quite yet. Now there's just a little bit more for me to say. And that is, how come with Christians, it seems like any time someone disagrees with their policies, it turns into persecution on a religious and global level? Like, with this Chick-fil-A thing, I've talked about boycotting Chick-fil-A and moving on with things, and I don't want to give them money because I disagree with their policies, right? That's just a thing. And then this turns into, from various people, me hating Christianity and trying to attack all Christians or persecuting their religion. How does that work? I'm exercising my free choice here to go somewhere or to not go somewhere, and this turns into persecution of their religion. Really. Really, out of all the things you could have chosen to make this about, you're going to say, I am persecuting all of Christianity by not eating chicken. What? Like, really, I'm trying to follow this, and I just don't. But if it was just this one time, I could just be like, all right, you know, those particular Christians are being a little wacky, fine. But no, no, this is a commonality through many, 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 many discussions I've had with Christians over the years, where I say I disagree with some part of their faith. I think it is wrong. And this turns into, how come you hate Christians? But, I did, what? What? No, that's not what I said. I said, I think this particular part of your faith is wrong in my eyes. Not, I hate all Christians and want you to die. That was not what I said. Please do not act that way. It's quite simply, stop being so hyperbolic. When someone disagrees with you, take it as a disagreement, not as a fundamental attack on the totality of your being. You People have the right to disagree with you. That's part of the freedom of speech. It goes in both ways. If you can disagree with other people, they can disagree with you back on an equal level. And this must be okay. You don't get to say, I think gay people are wrong, and then cry foul when gay people say, I think you're wrong. But no, it doesn't work. Either no one gets to say anything or we all get to say it. And I would prefer a world where we each get to say our opinions rather than we all have to shut up for fear of offending someone. Because, oh no, it's persecution, right? If everything's persecution, then there's nothing left to talk about. I'm, I don't want to be a part of that world. That's really something I think not everybody, but certain groups of people need to think about.